League Women's Across, preseason Offensive Player of the Year, and returning All-American Marley Payton of Loyola might be a new competitor in the conference, but she is truly a veteran of her sport. The Australian-born senior captain has garnered a long list of accolades throughout her playing years, and her leadership continues to be a driving force behind the Greyhounds' already well-established success. The last four years have kind of just been gone by so quickly. I can't believe I'm a senior. It was a huge decision to come over here, to leave, you know, back home a lot on the other side of the world. But it's been the best decision I've ever made. I'm just really, really grateful and blessed that I've had this opportunity. I know that not many people, especially back home, lacrosse is so small. And I think that for a lot of people, moving over here is such a daunting thing for them. And they think that sometimes that they couldn't do it. But I think with the support of Loyola and my family as well, that it's just been incredible and I wouldn't take it back. Peyton's time at Loyola has been filled with on-field highs. Her first two seasons as a Greyhound were capped off with Big East championship titles. And as a junior, she led the Hounds in scoring with 39 goals and 25 assists. She's so selfless in her ability to play. She's an incredibly naturally talented player, but she's willing to back that up with the hard work off the field. And whether it's in the weight room, you know, whether it's in academics or, or whatever else she's doing, whenever she's doing it, she's got this inbred excellence that just seems to shine through in everything she does. And she doesn't make it look hard out there. She makes it look easy. And that's a tough talent. That's something that's very difficult to do, but it comes from preparation and it comes from hard work. She's an incredible player. I can't define Molly in words, I don't think. It's something you gotta see. Um, she's special, she's a special player. Coach Jen Adams and Marley Payton have a special history too. The duo played on the same Australian senior national team that took the silver medal at the 2009 Women's Lacrosse World Cup. I've looked up to Jen since I was like 13 years old. She actually came down to Melbourne where I'm from, an Australian coaching clinic, and I was like hooked you know, and kind of like what she could do was just mesmerized by what she could do like on the field. Then we got the amazing chance to play in Prague in the 2009 World Cup. And I mean, she was the best player I've ever had a chance to um, play alongside with. And she's just a really great leader and she's really good at making the people around her better. And that, that kind of coincides with what she does here at Loyola. She really is so passionate about us as a team and really puts us at a top priority and I think we all feel that as players. I love playing with Molly. She's just one of those players that can get open. You know, I do a lot of feet a lot, um, play at the X position a lot and Molly was just always someone that I, I found open. She has an uncanny ability to shake her defender loose and, and get there. She's just a really tough, tough player and when you have that alongside you I think it breeds confidence and you know she was always obviously a lot younger in the teams that I played for and I was considered more of a veteran at the time but at the same time I think I didn't look at her as a younger player. She plays well beyond her years. One thing Jen does really well is encouraging creativity all over the field. That's how she got so good was just kind of having that freedom to you know, push the boundaries a little bit and I think that she does a really good job of instilling that in all of her players. You know, to take risks, cautious risks, just to be creative and, you know, have fun with the game. Nothing pleases me more, makes me prouder than being on the sideline and just seeing chemistry unfold and seeing the girls figure it out for themselves and take those responsibilities on themselves. You know, Molly certainly does that out on the field. She's the kind of player at the end of the game, you need a goal, she wants the ball in her stick. She has that, that kind of faith in herself, but the faith in her teammates that they're gonna make it happen. Peyton has graduated from the role of rookie star to seasoned veteran. Perhaps following in the footsteps of her coach, the senior captain now has young players looking up to her in awe as well. We run little kids clinics and camps and you know, Molly's a favorite. They all want to do their hair like Molly. They want to talk like Molly. They want to be like Molly. And I think that's, you know, that's, that's a special trait to have when you have young kids that want to be mentored, when you have someone that you want your kids to be mentored by. And I hear that from parents all the time. It was Peyton's caring personality and contributions off the field that made her a 2014 Coach Wooden Citizenship Cup semifinalist. She was the only lacrosse player among the other 36 collegiate student athletes that were honored. On the Greyhounds campus, Peyton is also involved in the Loyola Leadership Academy and Student Athlete Advisory Committee, otherwise known as SAC. She looks forward to leading the Hounds through a winning first season in the Patriot League. For the Patriot League Network, I'm Melanie Plowski.